Hey there, everybody. Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now, in today's video, we're going to take a quick look at a product that I was recently introduced to. This is not necessarily a brand new product, but it's definitely a product in a category that's emerging technology and something that I think a lot of people should really pay attention to. Now, this is a really interesting product, caught me totally by surprise. It was not something I thought I would be totally addicted to, but the minute I saw this and got my hands on it, I was like, you know what? I think a lot of other people need to see this too. And what I'm talking about today is virtual reality gear from Samsung. This is the Gear VR powered by Oculus. Now this video is not so much a product review as it is more of a product overview. It shows you the basic functions and features, the different things associated with this piece of hardware so that you get an understanding of what it looks like and what it kind of acts like. Now. This is, again, the first time I had ever seen this. I'd never gotten my hands on it, never seen it in person. I'd never even really watched any videos on it. So when I really saw this for the first time and I was excited about it, I really did want to show other people. And so I thought the best way to go about this was by doing a guest review. So I'm going to turn it over to Charlie to go through the features, and I'll come back here at the end to wrap up with some final thoughts. What's going on, guys? What's up, guys? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up, you guys? Yo guys, what's going on? Yo guys, what's up? What's going on guys? I'm Charlie and this is Outer Limitless. <laughs> <laughs> really? This is how we're gonna start? What's up guys? I'm Charlie. This is Eric from Outer Limitless. And today we're gonna be doing a guest review for the Samsung Galaxy VR headset. It's a virtual reality device powered by Oculus. And we're gonna be going over some of the main features that you're gonna wanna know about before buying it. Let's get started. Nice. Boom! Boom! Okay. Boom! Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice here is the focus bar on top. This is going to help focus the VR and help you really see what's going on instead of it being blurry. This is the mechanism that keeps your phone locked into place. Now, as you can see, we have a lock feature right here that helps you secure your phone so there's no risk of falling. There's an additional locking mechanism over here that also helps it conform to different sizes of phones. The tabs on the outer ring provide additional support for your phone. As you can see here, this is probably the most important feature of the Samsung Galaxy VR. So on the right hand side of the device, we're going to see the touchpad, the volume control, the back, and the home button. This will help you maneuver around the VR interface. This is the touchpad. It helps you maneuver where your cursor is inside the VR and also helps you click things. This is your main central control. It's like the touchpad on your laptop. The next thing you're going to notice here is the headband. Now this is what keeps the VR device on your face. As you can see here, it's adjustable so any user can use it. It conforms to the user's head so it can provide a more comfortable and immersive experience. The device is also padded with an ample amount of foam. Now this will provide a better and more comfortable experience for the user. There's also vents on either side of the VR to make sure that your screen doesn't fog up while in use. The final thing that you'll see here is the face sensor. This sensor will help the device identify if there is a user actively using it. As you can see here, there's an integrated micro USB port that helps you put in your phone with these. It also has a clicky thing that really, really feels satisfying to put your phone into. I mean, why are we going to lie to the viewers? We don't, we don't have to be that guy that knows everything. I mean, it's a clicky thing. It, it puts in your phone, right, and, you know, it's not falling out, and it sounds swell. So, let's move on. What's going on, guys? I'm Charlie, and this is Outer Limitless. <laughs> <laughs> really? This is how we're gonna start? I don't know if I should say your name or not. Eric from Outer Limitless. Eric I'm, I'm from... here. I'm here with Eric from Outer Limitless. There we go. We got we got the collab. <laughs> Today we're gonna be testing or reviewing rather this Gear VR for some Samsung mobile phones. Yeah, that sounded too convincing. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so without further ado, let's actually try this on and see how it performs. <laughs> What do you think? I don't know. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! What do I say? Like, what do you think? It's not easy, is it? We're gonna be 
giving you guys a guest review on the Oculus Power. Oh, damn it! I'm so Sorry. close. Sorry. I, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I, last chance. All right, I got All right, this. You All got right. It. This lets you focus the VR device for people and saints. Um, so it can conform to your eyes. These uh, these lent. Huh, let's just like they I mean they're they're really just made for seeing real up close. So so. As you can see, this is, as you can see here, we have this thing right here okay. that helps you conform. It's just those tabs there provide additional support for your phone to minimize risk of damage. Okay. As we can see here, this is probably probably the most important feature of the Samsung Gear Vir. <laughs> we also see a volume control buttons, which are directly to the right of the touchpad. This will help you they're, lower. They're in front of. Right. right? Yeah. Because when you're wearing it, then be in front of it. So, on the right hand side of the device, we're going to see the touchpad. Oh, smooth it up. Maneuver your way around the VR's home interface. Adjustable head strap that will conform to the user's head. So, it will provide. Oh, that's so choppy. Now, this is going to keep the head. Mm. As we can see here, these are elastic 2B137 foam from Asia. <laughs> <laughs> The device is also padded where the user will put their face. <laughs> uh, uh, um, this foam will protect the user from, I don't know, stuff. <laughs> from AIDS. It's <laughs> like the condom for your face. It's like condom for your face. Just bloopers. Oh, seriously. Yeah, that would be the greatest thing ever. It'd be more entertaining. If I had the snot, that would have been like... <laughs> so nasty. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> it just hit your lip. <laughs> uh, no, I was done. I was like, I was out. All right. All right. <laughs> Now this will provide a better and more comfortable experience for the user. What will? We already Is, said the phone. Was it good? Yeah. I don't know. This will basically make or break your VR experience. By, no, oh, no. It, this sensor here will tell you, mm, this sensor here will tell the VR which way to look and if there's a face inside of the VR. <laughs> this will tell the VR if there's a user All right, this will tell the VR if there's someone actually using it or not. Therefore, how about, how, let's make it sound a little more scientific. Also, it helps the government spy on you. Right? Illuminati? No? All right, do it again. It's just a joke. I'm not a crazy person. Um, this... Uh, actively. Actively. Dang it. This, this sensor will help the device... Uh, huh. This sensor will help the device identify. Uh, this sensor will help the device. There's also vents on either side of the VR to help the to help minimize um, fog radiation damage. Fog, yes. <laughs> As you can see here, this this bar right here will conform to the device's side. As you can see, there's a mini. Uh, what's micro it called? Micro USB. Yeah. As you can see, there's a micro USB port that helps you plug in your Samsung Galaxy. There's an integrated micro USB. As you can see here, there's an integrated mi micro USB. Uh, as you can see here, there's an integrated micro USB port that helps you put in your phone with these. It also has a clicky thing that really, really feels satisfying to put your phone into. I mean, why are you on a lot of the viewers? We don't, we don't have to be that guy that knows everything. I mean, it's a clicky thing. It, it puts in your phone, right? And, you know, it's not falling out. And it sounds swell. So, let's move on. Alright. So thanks, Charlie. That was fun. Let me wrap this thing up with a few final thoughts. So the thing about the VR, that really is what caught my attention. It is a completely unique experience from anything else. And let's put this into perspective. If you like movies, or you like video games, or you like science fiction, or you're interested in space, or you just want to go to a place that you've never been before 
If you want to really experience some of your fears or different things that might catch you by surprise, if you want to look at some of the videos that you've taken or clips you have on your phone in a completely different atmosphere, this is a way that you can do it. This experience is unlike any other experience that is out there right now. It's very cool, very dynamic, totally immersive. You can totally get lost in this. Uh, it's something that there is a little piece of this device for everybody. Literally every person could use this. There is something in this for everyone. Now there's different apps, games, puzzles, different challenges you can download. You can play this with other people. You can have experiences all by yourself. There's literally a huge range of things that you can do with this device and this is only the start. I'm very impressed at the technology in its current state. I cannot wait to see what this has to bring in the future. I think the future iterations are gonna be amazingly impressive and it's already there. I mean, to be honest, some of these things actually, the, the graphics and the quality and the sounds already rival you know other video game systems that are already out there. And so I can only imagine what it's gonna be moving forward and it's, it's a very impressive thing. So, all right guys, that was just a quick little look at the Gear VR from Samsung, powered by Oculus. Like I mentioned, something totally worth checking out if you haven't seen it. I highly strongly recommend that you get your hands on this. Find somebody that you know. If you have a Samsung phone, it's reasonably cheap. Buy it for yourself. It is an experience totally worth having. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.